This video is a bit of a nautical news report on a maritime subject that a lot of us are familiar with, the Queen Mary's lifeboats. The RMS Queen Mary Hotel in Long Beach, California has been in limbo for over two years now, with some people fearing that the ship may eventually be scrapped, while others remain optimistic that it will reopen soon. On June 5th, 2022, most of the ship's lifeboats had been taken off of the ship and were scrapped in the parking lot by the hotel, with the exception of about three or four to be preserved for historical purposes. The lifeboats on the chopping block were offered for free to anyone who wanted to preserve them, but applicants needed to be able to prove that they could transport the boats from the site, and then, the hard part, contain the lead paint and other contaminants in the lifeboats. Unfortunately, nobody was able to come forward with a realistic plan, and the boats were set to be destroyed. Most of the boats that were scrapped were not from the original ship. Some of them were replicas built specifically for the hotel, replacing original damaged ones when the hotel opened in 1971, and some of them are from other Cunard vessels, including the Sylvania, who had some lifeboats swapped into the Queen Mary's complement just prior to the Queen Mary's delivery to Long Beach in 1967. Queen Mary's original lifeboats were all motorized, and at the time of the ship's construction were the largest lifeboats built for a ship to date. They were all built by Hugh McLean and Sons Limited of Glasgow, Scotland. The Queen Mary was originally built with 24 lifeboats, with a combined total capacity of 3,266 people. Two additional lifeboats were added during the Second World War towards the bridge. The davits suspend the lifeboats high over the boat deck in a cradle, about 75 feet above the waterline. They were to be lowered even with the boat deck in the event of loading, and were capable of being launched by just one crewman operating the launching mechanisms. This only ever happened during lifeboat drills, as no emergency ever came up that required the launching of the ship's lifeboats with passengers on board. I happened to be in the right place at the right time with a friend to see the boats being scrapped, and I managed to capture these final videos and photos of their existence. It was hard to watch the wreckers tear into the boats, shaking them around as they ripped pieces off. No, I was not allowed to take a souvenir, and security was tight. Trust me, I asked. Whatever happens to the Queen Mary going forward, her lifeboat davits will hang empty. However, the scrapping of these boats could be a good thing in the end. The lifeboats were always a hazard and identified as a critical issue as early as 2015, as they collected rainwater and rusted away as those 10-ton lifeboats hung over the heads of the public walking the deck. Hopefully this is the first step in reopening the ship by removing a legal liability and help pave the way for the ship's doors to reopen. A special thank you to my supporters on Patreon, especially Marlo Perez, Kelly Black, Kaiser Wilhelm II, Trent Greger, Zach Richards, Donald Anderson, Cody Henricks, Joan Haynes, Sean Kimball, Rob M., Amos Mayhew, Corey Andrews, Nicholas Masella, Zolt Bognar, Colt Tannock, Sophie Baber, Exotic Exploring, Jakob Martin Henson, Stephen Schwankert, Rob, Oliver Chin Chen, Jahala, and John Maluski.